So today is the last day of the year, and as such, it's you know it's the the conclusion of the holiday season. And I don't know if this is a a good thing or a bad thing, but I feel like the holiday season is more and more a lot of consumerism, a lot of consumerism, and sometimes I feel like it's too much. So I was reading a, a friend's blog post about this, and basically there. There are things you can do. If you feel like consumerism is just a little bit heavy this year or next year, there's something you can do. You can make gifts. And when I read that, it clicked. I mean, I I like making things. I really like making things. I like designing things. I like making things. So I decided I'm going to make some some gifts for friends and family this year. So I look at my bucket list. And one of the things that, that has been on my bucket list since at least 2009 is designing and printing a 3D printable rubber band gun, semi-automatic rubber band gun. And in fact, back in 2009, I even developed the, the firing mechanism of the gun, and that's as far as I got. So I decided I'm going to knock that off the list. I am going to make a you know, a printable semi-automatic rubber band gun. So this is what I developed. It shoots up to, to six rubber bands. And those rubber bands are number 32 rubber bands. And I chose these because they were easily available for me. Hopefully they are for you as well. And they were really inexpensive, a, a whole bag for 67 cents. So I mean if you if you spread them throughout the house it's not that big a deal. So loading. To load the gun, you simply put one rubber band on at a time, making sure that they they stay within this groove. And you'll notice there's a rubber band built into the gun, and that is for just giving an authentic feel as well as just allowing you to cock it and I don't know it just it just made sense to me so you simply one rubber band at a time cock it you make sure that it's in these grooves here cock it and when the, the rubber band is, gun is full, when you've got all six rubber bands on, you'll know because the, the next little peg that the rubber band goes on will already have a rubber band on. So it's an easy way to, to see that the gun is full. And when that happens with the last rubber band that you put on, just cock it one more time. And then fire. And that'll just ensure that everything sits properly and that all the rubber bands are going to come off nice and clean. So along with the, the gun that I designed, I also designed a few targets here. I've got five targets here. Five targets, six rubber bands. I should be able to do this. Should. I should. Let's see back up here make it a little challenging all right Whew. yes ha all right so i'm going to release all of the files that i designed with this video uh, and, and basically it's it's five parts here it's really six one is mirrored the orange is mirrored so six parts here all of the gray I printed at a hundred percent fill just because I wanted a, a solid feel but the orange I printed at 30 percent fill with honeycomb and that was just to give it a just an interesting look uh, the the parts that you aren't printing the parts that you'll have to buy are number six screws. Those are those are half inch number six screws and you'll need eight of those. You'll also need eight number six washers. 
you'll need a little bit of thread rod that's also number six and two regular nuts, number six nuts, as well as two number six lock nuts. And that's all you'll need. So yeah, print and redesign, make, make better, improve. And let me know if, if you enjoy the gun, drop me a comment. Thanks for subscribing to this channel. Thanks for sharing these videos so that others can maybe learn something. And I'll, I'll see you next time.